as Capcom has completed its development for Monster Hunter World in that it's not creating any new content for the game. All of the previously time restricted limited time events are now available for everyone to do at any given moment. These events often provide fantastically efficient ways to get super rare stuff that would otherwise take a really long time to do through the conventional quests. I'm Light It Up Dan and on the channel here we cover action RPGs, roguelikes and MMOs including loads of Monster Hunter World, I'm sure you've noticed. As a quick side, I wanted to say a massive thank you for taking us from around 99% of unsubscribed viewers all the way over to 88%. That's incredible. Let's keep up that momentum, folks. If you do enjoy the videos, do subscribe. And with that said, let's get to it. One of these things that allows you to do is to farm really rare decorations that are going to improve your build, improve your experience. If you've beaten Iceborne and your MR24 or above, but you're not quite MR100 yet, the Wrath of Thunder Descents is a fantastic option to do. I have covered this in a full video already, I highly recommend you check that out. I will link that for you to go have a look. The quests we're going to look at today are superior if you have access to them as you get three guaranteed sealed face stones from them. Whilst there are three different quests you can do, there is one that stands out as by far the easiest option so we'll focus on that but I will mention the others. Day of Ruin is a master rank 6 star MR100 event quest, pitting you up against a Temper Teostra in the Celiana supply cache. As a master rank elder dragon, Teostra is no joke and you should absolutely approach this fight seriously. Like super serious. And this is a tempered one as well. I'm pretty sure that gives it some additional moves. At least that's what it seemed like to me. It can be quite hard to tell when you're in the haze of getting your ass beat. As a fire elemental monster, coming in with 20 or more fire elemental resistance is going to be super useful for you. Not only will this increase your defences against a lot of its attacks, it will also give you Fire Blight immunity. You may opt instead to get 3 Blight resistance as both Fire Blight and Blast Blight are problematic during this fight. It's both very weak to water and to ice, and unsurprisingly immune to fire damage. If you are able to equip Heat Guard, that's very useful for this fight, as it will nullify the damage from Teostra's Fire Aura, and from the Fire Puddles that are dropped on the floor too. You have the option to bring Dragon Weapons with Elder the seal on it, as sealing away some of Teostra's abilities will be helpful. However, I do think you're much better off focusing on some good raw damage, or if you are going to go elemental, ice or water. Like most monsters, it's very vulnerable to damage against its head, and that's where you're going to stack a lot of stun, a lot of KO as well. Depending on what weapon you're using, getting mounts is going to be easier or harder, but getting mounts can be super helpful. As a hammer user, a lot of the time, I like to jump off ledges and that gets me a lot of mounts. Use your clutch claw wise, and try to tenderize the head, any other parts as well, and of course go for the wall bangs whenever the monster isn't enraged. Your mounts, your wall bangs, and your KOs are going to all give you these huge windows of damage where you can really get to work and make sure that you're successful with the hunt. You do also have access to the roaming ballista and the dragon riser as you are in the Celiana supply cache, so if you get the opportunity to use them, by all means do so. I do believe this is a very popular event to farm as well, so if you do SOS flat, I'm sure it's going to fill out for you. So if multiplayer is something you enjoy, by all means jump into that as well. Once you're finished getting flash fried into a medium rare hunter, you'll be rewarded with three guaranteed sealed face stones, and a high chance of getting a bunch of others like ancient, carved, and even more sealed face stones, giving you access to the rarest decorations in the game, including attack, expert, handicraft, challenger, and loads of fantastic combination level 4 gems as well. The other MR100 events that you can do are in the Tempest's Wake against a Tempered Kashala, or the Cold Never Bothered Me against a Tempered Lunastra. Both of these are going to be so much harder than the Tempered Teostra, I highly recommend you stick to a Day of Ruin, but it is also a personal preference kind of thing. If for whatever reason you just prefer the fight against Kashala or you're much better at it, and the same goes for Lunastra as well, by all means, you've got those options, go for those ones instead. For myself, and what I'd recommend for the vast majority of players, Day of Ruin is absolutely going to be your go-to, and Teostra is going to be the most manageable, most fun fight. And that's everything I've got for you folks. This marks the beginning of the endgame content that I wanted to cover. You can expect to see more MR100 endgame content coming soon. As mentioned at the start of the video, I'm enormously grateful for all of you folks for taking us from 99 
99% of viewers unsubscribed all the way over to 88% of viewers. That is incredible. Let's keep that momentum up. As the vast majority of you are returning viewers, if you do enjoy the videos, do subscribe to the channel. I've opened up the Discord for everyone to come and join, so if you want to get some hunts together, come and join the Discord. All of the links can be found in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, I'll see you in the new world.